Crawling silently on his belly, Steve heads within striking distance of these remarkable and lethal creatures. The Nile crocodile is a scavenger as well as a predator and will be quite happy to feast on the carcass of a hippo which has perished through a dispute with a rival or attack by a predator. As well as scavenging, the crocodile is a fearsome and successful predator, preying on animals that come to the water to drink, such as wildebeest and gazelle. When attacking, the crocodile uses its strong jaws and teeth to grab the animal and drag it under the water until it drowns. It cannot chew, so prey is not immediately eaten, but is wedged under water until it rots. Crocodiles eat all of their prey, including bones and hooves. The crocodiles are nearly four meters in length, and Steve is less than three meters from them. There are crocodiles as far as the eye can see, nearly 50 around the carcass, with another 50 behind them. Out of all the reptiles in the world, the Nile crocodile has the most complex social structure. Look at them, tearing into the entrails of the hippo. Look at them, they're coming in. There must be a hundred crocodiles in on it. Steve must remain alert. Compared to the crocodile, Steve is at least half their size and would make easy prey for such formidable and accomplished hunters. You get fight, fight! It's only a small dispute. There's no blood spilled. In amongst all this turmoil and commotion and thrashing and jaws and heads hitting together, it's wild, but it's organised. Clashing heads, clashing teeth. This huge frenzy of death rolls. This is the social structure at its peak. In the ensuing turmoil and commotion, not one crocodile is hurt in the fight for food. All the crocodiles are at least three meters in length, but do not hurt each other. How's the way they come alongside and tear out of each other's mouth? Unreal. You know, this looks wild. It looks so wild, all these dinosaurs mixing it up. This is reptilian evolution at its peak. Oh, look at this, look at this. Crunch. It just looks like they're going at it. Oh. Yes, the carcass is going. They're so preoccupied feeding that they don't even notice the hippo carcass is floating away. Don't worry, they'll pick it up later. Check it out. How's this? They don't even care I'm here. They, they've got no idea I'm here. Shit, look at this. Bang! Check out behind me. If I was James Bond, I could run out. Check them out. Like stepping stones. 
The funny thing is, in the fight, they forgot the hippo carcass has floated off. It's floating way down the river there now. But don't worry, they'll track it down and find it, and they'll eat again. The feast of the Nile crocodile. It's all gone a little bit tranquil now. Look at them. They've all settled down. They're all quiet as... Oh, boy. Hey, unbelievable. This has been the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. The most fun. I've been working with Hey. You're all right, mate. Come on then, buddy. Come on then, Uggs. I've been working with crocodiles all my life. I've virtually grown up with them. And no one is beyond making mistakes. One of the biggest mistakes I ever made was with this big dinosaur crocodile right here. When he was reaching maturity, I had him over there with some young girls and a few other young blokes and he started belting up the young blokes and trying to mate with the young female, so I had to catch him out. I thought, I got an idea. I know how to catch him. I'll go in there with a food source and a lasso. So as I walk down towards the water's edge, I've gone, come on boy, come on boy, with a chicken in this hand and a lasso in the other hand. And he's seen the chicken and he's gone, right, I'd like a feed, gone under the water, utilised his camouflage technique, stalked me, come up, and he's gone fling straight out of the water, struck straight at me. Only the bite was quicker than the eye. As I drew, drew him up with the chicken and threw the lasso, whack, he's beaten my hand, grabbed it, and just pulled straight back into the water. Luckily enough, all of my instincts came together. I went loose. I didn't go rigid. If I had gone rigid and resisted, whoo, he'd have pulled my arm right out at the socket and probably eaten it. So I went loose. He dragged me into the water. I spun in the air instinctively. And as I hit the water, whack, I landed on his head. Luckily, because that gave him a bit of a shock, he let go, pulled away, which gave me enough time to get out of the water and get out of the way. It's always dangerous working around big reptilian predators like these. You can't afford to make too many mistakes, but I got all my digits, all my limbs. I've been very lucky, and that's about the closest shave I've ever had. Crocodiles attack so hard and fast from the water's edge that their prey doesn't get enough time to squeak after they've been hit. Whack! Grabs my hand back into the water so quick that my backup couldn't do a thing about it. His teeth penetrated straight through my hand. A dangerous mistake that I'll never make again. It's quick. Real quick. This is the fear snake. Oh, 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 oh. Come here, mate. The most venomous snake in the world. This is one wild unit. This is the snake you don't want to get tagged by because it possesses enough venom to kill 150,000 rats. But who cares? This bloke could have enough venom in one bite to kill 100 blokes my size. Look at the coloration. Beautiful coloration. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Settle down, mate. Yo, you wouldn't want to take a whack off a snake this size. You can see behind his head, that's his venom gland. Woo! This is where you see the work of my dad, is right here. He taught me to be one-on-one -on -one with the snake, 
to be at one with it, to feel it in my fingers, to allow the snake to feel it. There'd be no danger. Settle down, sweetheart. Settle down now. She's just trying to tag Steve-O on the face. I know you are, sweetheart. You're a beautiful snake. You're absolutely gorgeous. It's starting to flatten his throat out now. So it's just starting to get a little aggressive. Whoa, 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 okay, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. You all right, mate? Hey, hey, settle down, settle down. See, it's coming back on me, coming back real fast. These snakes seem to know the toxicity of their venom. You can see it swinging around, it's agitated. Neck's starting to puff up, that rapid tongue flicking. It's getting upset. Make no doubt about it. It'd whack its fangs into me at, at any given moment. See how it keeps lining me up? It's getting really, really grumpy. Beautiful snake. You're just a little grumpy now. They're just like people. She just wants to move away from me. A lot of people think that snakes are evil, ugly monsters that cruising around killing people. And those fangs, those, those fangs, they're like hypodermic needles. Two hypodermic needles sitting in the back of their head ready to... Whoa. Oh, hey, 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 settle down, sweetheart. How was that for a swing straight at me? How's these flies looking right in my eyes? It's so dry and hot out here. The flies are coming into my eyes for a drink, any form of moisture. Woo, she's starting to settle down now. Get off me. Look at this, nice and quiet. Look at her. What a beauty. I'd call it her because I'm in love with her now. She knows that I mean her no harm. What a beautiful snake. You know what? I'm a professional. You see a snake like this, don't muck with it. And one thing's for sure, don't try this at home. Far too dangerous. This snake could have enough venom to kill me and a hundred other blokes out here in the West. What an honor to share territory, share space with such a beautiful animal. Oh, steamer. I gotta tell you, I'd rather deal with this snake than a lot of people I know. I reckon that people are much more dangerous.